Hey guys, welcome to Samco Workshop. This is Jason Samkovic. Today we're going to talk about tried, true, and proven setup here. Um, this kit from Porter Cable. Um, I bought this kit. Now we've modified it a little bit here, but I've had this now, I want to say 18 years ago, I bought this original kit, which is these three, uh, the stapler and the two nailers. Um, I have had to replace the compressor once already, and I'm on my third or fourth air hose. Uh, but the kit is still available today. And the thing's incredible, all right? Now, I use this. I bought it when uh, we first... Actually, I lied. I bet I've had it for 20 years, probably pushing 20 years. Um, when we first started doing any kind of remodeling in our house, we would put some uh, cedar uh, shakes up behind a, a bathtub in our, in our master bathroom once, and I got tired of doing it by hand, so I went out and I bought this kit. And I've since used it to build a ton of different things. Uh, we did so much baseboard work. And when we redid I mean, uh, for molding and baseboards. And uh, we trimmed out the entire uh, playhouse that we built for the kids, which was in my house in Michigan. If you watch my other channel, you've seen it in the background. But it was supposed to be just a little um, 8 by 12 uh, little playhouse for them. It turned out to be two stories tall and turned into this huge thing that now the new homeowners uh, Which worked out good because they had three little girls, so they're using it as well, too But uh, we used it for a playhouse for the kids when they were little turned it into a storage shed a two-story storage shed Now it's back to a playhouse for those girls. I built chicken coops um, a lot of stuff with this kit It's just valuable especially uh, For small projects trim work. I built all my custom windows that I had in that playhouse and in the chicken coop um, with this these nailers these things are just super valuable so what you get with this kit and I'll link it below for you you're gonna get this compressor it's a good compressor like I said I, I burned one out uh, maybe four years ago and I bought this one I bought the same one again because uh, it lasted for so long and worked so great for me um, but uh, so the compressor here uh, comes with the compressor it comes with the air hose you're gonna get three different nail guns a 16 inches is the one I or uh, uh, number 16 Brad nailer this is the one I use the most this will shoot one to two and a half inch um, uh, sick number 16 gauge brad nails and uh, it works fantastic I'll show you the nails in a minute but they work like everything else plug in the ear holes push it against there you know you just pop and it's gonna fire okay it's just how they work you can adjust the output level real easy to load them but it comes with the 16 uh, nailer right here it comes with is this the uh, stapler right here a small little 18 gauge stapler and um, I think this 18 gauge stapler right um, I have to look at what size staples I put in them. Um, but uh, this will do, uh, this does one inch, uh, this will do up to one inch staples. Um, so you can fire one inch staples out of this. Um, but nice for a lot of little projects, it comes with it. This one I use the least. Very rarely and I'm running staples, but when we were doing our chicken coop and we were putting up all the, the steel wire, all the, uh, uh, what do they call it, hardware cloth they call it, the quarter inch hardware cloth, this thing was awesome. Pop, 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 and just made life real easy. Um, and it also, and then we got the 18 gauge um, Brad Nailer. This one shoots, uh, and they say right on them what they are too, uh, this one does up to a 1 and 3 eighths. Um, you one and three eighths inch 18 gauge brad nailer, um, but same thing, just simple load on this. You know, you can see them; they fit right in there. Here they are. I'll show them to you. I'll show you the differences. But your nails go right in, good to go. Sweet, simple, and easy. On a stapler, same concept. Do I have any in there? Yeah, I do. Staples fit right inside there. Done. Simple. And on your 16 gauge. You can actually see them feed. They feed right up through there, just like a framing nailer. So real simple process. Um, I'll fire one up here. I'll show you that 16 gauge in a minute here because I'm using it right now. Where uh, We just built that second garage over there, which is why everything is a mess in here. Um, and uh, so we're using this thing right now for trim and stuff. We're also, uh, since we had my neighbor with his airless spray gun, <coughs> come over and uh, uh, spray the... Uh, spray that whole thing we also had him hit this garage on the outside too so we're redoing that and we're putting up a little more trim kind of make it look a little bit nicer so this uh these things are, are just super handy it's a kit that i would never not have um and like i said i use so much that i've had to replace the hose a couple of times replace the compressor once but the nail guns have never had to be replaced now i'm also going to be honest i don't know if you're supposed to or not i don't never remember reading the directions let me turn this phone off sorry hang on um, 
I don't know about that, but I do know that I have never oiled these. I have never once put any oil in any of these. And so just one of those deals that keep on ticking away like crazy. But the kit's super affordable. I think I got this whole kit for like 99 bucks 20 years ago. I don't know what it is now. I will link it down below for you. But just super, super valuable for all your finish work. Um, so, and then now uh, it comes with a bag too to put all this stuff in. But once you start adding nails and things, none of the, those bags don't, it, none, it doesn't fit anymore. You get too much stuff in there. And uh, so I don't, uh, I don't use that original bag. I went and bought one from like Lowe's or whatever it was here kind of thing. But showing you some examples of the nails. Let me drop this down. So we get that off the table for a minute. Okay, and let's show you what we got here. So, um, you can run, give you an example of some differences. Here is, uh, so I run two inches out of this too. Does that say up to two inches? I think you can on this, because I know I ran them. Yeah, two and a half. But so, for example, nail-wise, here is 16 inch, or 16 gauge, two inch. Let me show you some 18s. I don't use the 18 a whole lot. Here's some three quarter uh, staples. Here is three quarter inch, 18 gauge staples to give you an example of what those are like so i mean it's a pretty serious staple here we're not kidding around that's a serious staple and it goes up to one and three eighths inch but that's a three quarter inch staple so definitely very capable functional stapler um and uh and put those back in there we find some 18 here's some 18 by ones right here so oh no those are staples too hold on like I said, all my stuff is, you know, just thrown in here in pieces like this. Here's 18 gauge one and a quarters. So this will show you the differences. So here's a two inch 16 gauge. And then here is a one inch um, 18 gauge. But look at this. You can see here the differences. Let me get it to focus there for you somehow. Hang on, see if we can get that focus to lock. There you go. You can see the thickness difference in these. You know, on the actual, how, how strong or how thick they are and uh, how thick the, the nails are. So 18 gauge versus 16 gauge. I use a 16 for a lot of stuff. Very rarely do I use this 18. And when I do, it's for very small, fine finish work. Uh, but I use a 16 a ton. It works incredible for uh, most of my trim stuff, baseboards, things like that. But so you can buy these and you just, you know, you buy your, your kits of nails and uh, you're all set to go. And uh, this came from this pack right here. But yeah, they just, uh, you know, I buy and buy big boxes of them, of the nails. Here's a two and a half inch, right? Yeah, two and a half inch. So, I mean, you can push them pretty serious nails with these things. And uh, they work like a champ. So very simple, easy. I will take you out real quick. I'll pop a couple in with this to show you on this uh, trim work we're already doing here. So let's bring you out here. We'll just show you real fast here if I close this up. Um, just to show you a hit or two on here, we'll do it. But, uh, so we just got done trimming this door. Now I'm not getting crazy with this one, uh, because the hinges are already hung on here and the way this door is, um, I don't think we're going to do any more trim work on it. Otherwise I got to take the hinges off, fight with this thing and we got it kind of where it is and we're happy. So, but taking this gun, compressor on, compressors on, we take the nail gun here. Let me spin that so I know that you can see what I'm seeing. Okay, so we just, you know, plug in that, you're set. There it is right there, just set it right on there, pop, pop, done. That's all there is to it. Just sweet, simple, and easy. Very functional, very capable, but these little kits just save you a ton of time, especially when you're doing trim, for example, um, we trimmed out this door and that door, um, put a couple more pieces on here, but I still, for my other garage, that other one that we're, you know, that I'm building, that you guys have been, you know, if you watch my shed build video, you see it, there's Tina up there painting away and doing the touch-ups there, but um, when we built this garage right here, and uh, on this garage, we are going to have 22 trim boards needed for this, for the doors, the framing around the doors, all the corner pieces, but we're going to need 22 more frame board, or uh, boards for this. To nail all those up just makes life a lot easier to just go pop, 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 with that uh, that finish nailer like that. So thing works fantastic. Um, and like I said, we're gonna trim all around the tops of this thing, um, around the edges. There's just, there's a lot of trim that has to be done. And having something as simple as a nail, there's one of the doors right there with my with gunner on top of it. But that whole thing is gonna be trimmed out kind of like what you're seeing here. If you look at this door, 
can see how it's trimmed out. Now that one, those double doors, we're gonna do the right way. So we're actually gonna have it where it will be, before we put these hinges on, we'll have trim here on, we'll have a trim board here and a trim board there and the hinges will go on top of the trim um, all the way through to the studs. But this one, like I said, we were just kind of being lazy so we don't got to remove the doors and just trying to make it look good. But basically what we want to know is that those nail guns work like an absolute champ and uh, you know that, that's the key takeaway here. Without that kit, a lot of this stuff could not be done. I'm gonna bring this back in here for us, but without running this, um, without having this set up right here, a lot of this stuff just wouldn't be able to be done. These things just make life easy. Put it where you want, tap it, you're done. That's all there is to it. It's just a simple, functional, easy kit, and it's very affordable. And you'll find it once you have it, you use it for so many different things. Even if you're putting in flooring. If you want to change the flooring in your house, you have to remove all of the baseboard trim, all of the door trim pieces. You have to remove all of that in order to get the new flooring in there. And well, when you go to put that stuff back up, you lay the baseboard, pop, 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 done. Put the door trim back up, pop, 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 you're done. It's just that easy using these kind of, uh, these tools. So, uh, well worth it. And like I said, you are looking at guns that have been running. Again, I don't use a stapler a lot, but these two nail guns for 20 straight years, flawlessly, without fail, no fail whatsoever. And uh, the compressor, like I said, I did burn it out. I also use a compressor for a lot of other tools too. So it wasn't just these. And I love that lightweight little pancake uh, compressor. Had to buy a new one. When I bought that new one, I bought the same one, the Porter Cable one. Um, probably could have got a knockoff, but I bought the same exact one. And I want to say I got it for $100. So in 20 years, I paid $100 for the kit and another $100 for that and another 20 bucks for, uh, you know, for a couple of hoses over time. But so very affordable kit that has paid for itself hundreds of times over. No joke, hundreds of times. Again, I'm not a pro. I'm not a carpenter, um, but I've done flooring in so many people's houses, my parents' houses, our house three different times, which was a uh, you know 3,000 square foot house with all new floors to everything. I um, mean, we did that three different times. <coughs> Custom trim work, the playhouses, the uh, shed that we built, the chicken coops that we've done, everything. This is a lifesaver. So there you go. Good little kit to get. Something to ask for for Christmas maybe that you don't think you'll need, but you will use a ton. I promise you. Thanks for watching. Links will be down below for you.